gonna die! Hey guys, what's up? So I'm back! I'm finally back in my little office doing my videos again. I know that you guys have been saying, hey, where have you been for the last week? Well, I've been doing some school finals, I've been doing an animation for spooky crap, but anyways guys, I'm back and I'm gonna be doing a lot more mod reviews because I'm off in vacation and I got a lot of time again, so I'm gonna be doing a ton of cool things, but anyways guys, if you guys could really help me out and check out Spooky Crafts Finale for me, go and check out Spooky Crafts Finale. I did an animation, it took a while to make, and I would really appreciate it if you guys could go there and, um, you know, just leave a like, show as much support as you can. So click on the annotation right here and uh, just go over there and say, Mortal, you rock, and all that stuff. And then, um, what else? Yeah, if you guys can't click on the annotation, links in description, there should be like a video link. But anyways, let's go ahead and review this mod that I have in store for you guys today. So this mod is called the 3D Radar Mod from Minecraft 1.4.5. This mod is a really new mod that hasn't been released yet. So how I got this mod is uh, I went to CJB's mods and you know how he does like a huge mod pack of a lot of things like X-Ray and Radar and all that stuff. So he discontinued his mod and I was reading why he discontinued his mod and he's working on a lot of other mods and I got my hands on this one right here, the 3D Radar mod. And this mod is still in development so there's not that much features but let's go ahead and review this mod because it's so awesome. So I'm going to go to single player and I'm going to click on this world right here. I'm just going to double click it. I haven't been playing Minecraft in such a long time. I think the last time I played Minecraft was for uh, Minecraft Daily which I still am recording. If you guys haven't seen Minecraft Daily, then go ahead and check that out as well. So if you guys are noticing, I'm dropping a lot in FPS because of this 3D radar. This mod is still in progress, so you're going to still lag a lot from this mod. If you notice at the top right corner, you should see that there's a super huge circle. And in that circle is a 3D map. Check that out. When I turn my character, it rotates the screen, and that's it. This is the 3D radar mod. If you guys notice, there's some red dots. That means there's enemy underneath the ground or probably in top, so those red dots indicate enemies and those green dots uh, indicate non-hostile mobs. So you could see that there's a pig right over there and you'll see that it shows a green dot right over there. And underneath the ocean, there's some red dots because there's some, you know, caves down there and there's some zombies and that's it. But you're gonna drop yourself a lot of FPS. I mean, you're gonna lose so much FPS when you install this mod because just check it out, I'm already lagging. And if I press F3, I'm running at 25 frames, frames per second. Like, can you guys believe that? So this mod is still in progress and there isn't any keys that could help you like stop the lag. So if you guys want this 3D radar right here, so you could use it in your advantage and it works single player and I believe it works multiplayer. I'm gonna check it out in a little bit. But uh, let me go ahead and change myself into creative mode. I'm already in creative mode. Oh man, I did not even know that. So how, how about I go and fly and you'll see that the map will begin to update itself. There it is. While I update the map, it'll update itself and there's a lot of red dots underneath uh, you know, the sand right here. There's a lot of hostile mobs. I believe there's like spawners everywhere. There's more mobs. So as you move your player, it's gonna rotate the 3D map and you could see everything around you. And this is such an amazing mod and it's still in development. There isn't an official thread, so I'm not gonna be linking you guys a thread. Over there is a swamp biome, even though I haven't explored it yet. But my map indicates that there's a swamp biome way over there and I could see it with the radar. So this is very, very helpful, especially for a lot of maps. I think I believe this will be super helpful for servers because if you're like looking for your house you could just be rotating the screen and looking for it. So how about we go to multiplayer and see if this mod works for a server. I just went to Planet Minecraft again because that's where I get all my servers at. And here's a server called Zombie Survival. So there's gonna be some zombies. But how about we just go in there and hopefully there's no zombies. There's somebody right here. But check it out! The map does work! You can see that I'm inside a building. And this is a good way to know exactly where you're at when you spawn in a server. You're probably gonna just look around. You see that there's a little, uh... Wow, it actually makes every single block appear. Like, you see right there, there's a, uh, there's a pillar or a, uh, you know, board. And here's the board right there. Board of rules and stuff. So how about we get out of this place? Because I could see that there's some more buildings over there. When I rotate my screen, I can literally see through everything. So that's very, very helpful. How about I spell in this command right here? Uh, spawns? I believe that's what it is. Spawns? I believe I spell... I, I keep on spelling everything wrong. I just... It's because, uh, there we go. So now I'm in spawns, and you see that the map updates everywhere I go as well. I can even see underground caves. It's like 3D rotation right here. That's awesome. So here's a lily pad, and I'm just looking around. 
and there isn't a way you can adjust the actual screen so you can't really make it smaller or bigger it doesn't really make a difference so this server is kind of lagging in a way because I'm lagging because of the mod so that is basically it about this mod this mod is a really simple mod to understand because all it does is add in a 3d radar there isn't any keys there's no functions to it quite yet because this mod is still in development so if you guys are still interested in this mod you guys want to know how to install this mod even if you press F1 it removes the circle but you can still see the map and it looks pretty weird it's like a bug so that's one bug if you press F1 you can see that uh, this, the map still shows up though the circles disappears so anyways guys if you guys are interested in this mod you guys want to know how to install this mod well then let's go ahead and install this mod thank you guys so much for rating this video I really do appreciate it I'm gonna be making a lot more mod reviews a lot of more uh, you know live streams and another thing is I'm not with TGN anymore I'm with machinima so now I have joined the machinima network and I'm gonna be doing some special things with machinima so I'm gonna be doing that very soon hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later let's install this mod all right so let's go ahead and install this mod this mod is really easy to install so we shouldn't have ourselves any errors but the first thing I'm gonna do of course before installing this mod is go here to options and force up to me game the reason why I'm gonna force up to me game is because I have mods currently installed if you guys have mods currently installed I always recommend to back them up because you never do sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods if it's not compatible well then you're gonna get yourself a black screen and you won't be happy so options force update and login to download a brand new minecraft jar in which we're gonna mod so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this updating so I'm gonna minus this. and if you guys are looking at my desktop everything looks so clean right well it's because I created myself a new user in order to record because I have a lot of programs running in my other user that causes me to lag so I created myself a new user and this is gonna be my recording user just for everything uh, simple because there's not that much stuff everywhere so anyways you guys are gonna get the downloads from my description it's gonna take you to my website you're gonna get Minecraft Forge Universal and you're gonna get CJB's 3d minimap mod so go ahead and get this right here so just get the downloads and once you have the downloads let's go ahead and install this mod I'm gonna go here to start search for program file I'm gonna type in percent app data percent and for Windows XP users somewhere around there you should see run and you run percent data percent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder click on the roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft in the very top you can go into your dot minecraft folder you're gonna see bin resources save and everything else go into your bins folder before you open up your minecraft dot jar that's located in your bin folder you have to make sure you have your minecraft game closed so here's my minecraft game that i just forced updated you have to exit off your minecraft game before installing any mods so exit that off and you're gonna right click your minecraft dot jar that's located in your bin folder open with winrar so you're gonna open up your minecraft dot jar with winrar Open it up and move it aside. The first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods is to delete meta inf. You have to delete meta inf. So right click meta inf and delete files. Say yes and delete meta inf. Now meta inf's gone. Now we can continue. Open up Minecraft Forge Universal. Open it up and you're going to move that aside. You're going to see a lot of files from Minecraft Forge Universal. Highlight any file that you like and press Control A to highlight all the files from Minecraft Forge Universal. Once you have highlighted all the files from Minecraft Forge Universal, go ahead and drag it all into your Minecraft.jar side. You're going to wait a little bit. Now you're going to click Add and Replace, press OK. And now you are done with the Minecraft.jar and Minecraft Forge Universal because you are done with that. No need to mess around with it anymore because you are now done. So once you are done with that, make sure you're still in your bins folder where you open up your Minecraft.jar with WinRAR because you're going to go back once. Go back to your DOM Minecraft folder with bin, resources, save, and everything else. If you're going to have a mods folder, you have to create a new folder called mods. So right click new and folder and call it mods mods and press enter all right so inside your mods folder that you just created so you're gonna go into your mods folder that you just created that's i just said that all wrong but go into your mods folder that you, that you just created and what you're gonna do is just drag over the cjb's 3d minimap straight into your mods folder and you are done that is basically it once you have installed the mod just like that make sure to rewatch the video if you have any issues if you need any help check out my help forums and that is it guys so you should be able to run minecraft and here i am i'm gonna go to single player go into any world i like and the 3d map should show up immediately and there it is so remember that you you lose a lot of fps so uh if you guys want to lag then be sure to install this mod because it's still in progress so there's a lot of things that are going into this mod so anyways guys that is basically it i'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later thank you guys for all of your support see you later